Am I right? Now, it was the invitation of Jesus that became an invitation for his disciples. The scripture says, what God is saying to one, hmm? saying to one, that statement is very real in leadership. It was the invitation of Jesus that became an invitation for the disciples. So because our master is going, we are also qualified to go, except if he says we should not go. Are you getting what I'm saying? And anything you do that you don't invite Jesus on, you will suffer. Because there, is, there are always cases in the future that you know nothing about. The wine will finish. There is no year that wine does not finish. There's no year. But if you start the year with Jesus, if the wine now finishes maybe around October or March, you will survive. Because you started with Jesus, he will know how to turn the water around you to wine. That's why there are some good girls in 2021 that became prostitutes in 2022. They did not plan it. The reason they became prostitutes was because they started the year without Jesus. And at the lo- uh, you know, along the way, the wine finished. So there was nobody to turn the water to wine. So they have to survive. So they went into sin. I guess what I'm saying. Thank God this meditation is coming early enough. This is still January. If you know you are starting the year without Jesus, you better invite him. The one we finish, yes, every year one finishes. It's not, it's not about trying to scare you. One we finish. The, 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 the time your own one we finish can be different from my own. But we have the assurance that if we start with Jesus, of course, anytime the one finishes, it will turn the water around us to what? Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 1, what is that place saying? He said, Mine. Yes? Now, one thing to note there is two things is one. Act desire. Prayer. Is that Israel may be saved. So, uh, Paul so journeyed into a point that his heart desire aligns with his what? With his prayer points. Oh, Nigeria will be better. And you are, that's your prayer point. But you are arranging your visa. This insecurity must stop. No, it must stop. It must stop. It must stop. It must stop. It's, you are praying, but it's not, it's not aligning with what? So, Paul's heart desire is that Israel should be saved. And his prayer is also what? The same thing. That's alignment. What you must see from there is a need to bring salvation to the world unsaved. It must, bringing salvation to the unsaved must be your heart what? Desire. It must be something that is heavy on your heart that you cannot but do. Are you there? What Paul was saying there is evangelism. That was why if you study the book of Romans, if you study the book of Acts, sorry, you will see the, the, the journey of Paul as it begins to move from what? From territory to territory. What was he doing? Winning souls for. That was his heart desires. Are you there? What you are doing now is a product of your heart desire. Your life will be moving in the direction of your heart desires. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you must ensure that your heart desires and your prayer points are one is the same. Are you getting what I'm saying? I pray the Lord will help us. Amen. We want to reach that point of alignment in the name of Jesus. Amen.